Whenever you're down, out in the cold, faithless and dark, your story's untold. Come to Milan, to Milan, look at it and look at it. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. If you've been been here, thank you so much for being a day one. And if you're watching from outside the club, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, guys. I am going to introduce myself today because Shebang, look at me, guys. I need to give you guys an introduction. My name is Sitaiti Wahalitsipa. I am traditionally married to my husband, and pretty soon I will be using his surname, but for now, I am still Sitaiti Wahalitsipa. And in the comment section, I want you guys to La Jeanne, la so la ka ing, we le tell lang hey guys. So, so we're doing things a bit differently in this video, guys. As you've seen the title of this vlog, it says Pava Dimu, Mpoyava Dimu also known as Thanksgiving ceremony in English. And this is something that I've also done last year on my YouTube channel. I had a vlog about it, but it was a vlog that had other days in it. I wasn't completely focusing on it. I just mentioned it in passing, you know, because at the time, I thought, I don't know why I thought that. I thought that people who watch my vlog are, are sort of people, are people from Free State. They know what a Papa Dimu is and I kept it moving. But the comment section showed me otherwise. But and there was no time to sit down and do an explanation vlog, you know. So in this specific video, when my brothers and I decided to do something at home, I decided, you know what, I'm actually going to sit down and talk through it so that the new people on here, the new subscribers who are here, and even the subscribers who are here at that time and didn't understand what was happening can actually get to understand a bit of everything that happened on that specific vlog, you know? Before I get into the video, guys, I want to let you guys know what Pabadimu is, guys. Pabadimu is a Thanksgiving ritual that is performed to show gratitude to Mudimu Le Badimu, guys, to God and to the ancestors, and that is exactly what we were doing in this vlog that I'm going to show you right now. And yeah, guys, on Friday, it started off with me and Martin. Martin is my husband. It started off with me and my husband going to Macro to buy a few things that we're going to need for the ceremony. In Welcome, we don't have a Macro, so we decided to just go to Macro because things are more affordable if you buy them in bulk over there. So that's where we started on Friday. So after 
whilst buying the food at macro we decided to retiti pote <laughs> into macro liquors guys because we had to get alcohol for the ceremony guys i'm kidding <laughs> But I'm not you guys. So yeah, we decided to go get um, Gordon's for the ceremony But I also just decided to buy boxed alcohol as a gift to my uncles and to my father-in-law who was coming to support us on the Saturday as well And yeah, after that we traveled to Valcom when you got to Valcom time was really against us guys When I say time was against us we arrived in Valcom on Friday at two o'clock and uh, the ceremony was on saturday and there was so much that needed to be done still you know so after we arrived we dropped everything at home and then we went on our way to go buy the sheep for the ceremony we normally buy our sheep in Ribekstad in Valcom but because time was against us we had to go to the nearest place which was at Riesbach if you're from Valcom you're familiar with the place that we went to right here with you. sheep now it was time to get it out from the boot guys only to find out that me my husband and my brother my big brother were all afraid of that sheep <laughs> so we had to ask someone to come help them but my husband was like again <laughs> so my big brother said he tried and they took the sheep out to go take it to the back where it was going to get slaughtered which is what you saw in the clip you just saw right now and then when we got to the back before they slaughtered the sheep my me my big brother and my other brother were supposed to speak to the sheep but because they were all busy with something i was the one who was giving the task to just relay the message to the sheep so that before that before they slaughtered before it goes to the other side i was the one who was supposed to give it a message like please open our your yeah, how do you say this in, in english guys <laughs> you know such things you know i was the one who was in charge that's why i was rubbing it on his on his head to just like i was just conveying those messages to it and then after all of that they slaughtered the sheep and that the whole process 
begun you know and then next up was me going to start the alcohol the process of with my aunt like i don't know what we would do without my aunt in our lives guys because she's the one who knows everything that is supposed to be done she was the one who who was leading us she's the one who's always leading us and i'm so glad to have a platform like youtube where i can actually store these memories that one day when we're old and we need to do these things and there's no one to guide us i can actually go back to my youtube channel and say like no man when we made the alcohol this is what we needed well before we we slaughtered the sheep we, someone was supposed to speak to the sheep you know so i'm so grateful that i have this platform and yeah let's start with the alcohol so how are you guys are also the guy what's that for you one kg one kg What's next? so you guys just a disclaimer right in the videos you guys just saw now right we were just showing you guys the ingredients and what you would need to mix like the 1kg pap the 1kg brown flour the hot water mixing it with cold water mixing everything in the bucket and then after all of that you would close it and put it aside and then later on you would move that mixture and put it into a black pot right that's what we were showing you guys in those videos but because i it was already too late right when i arrived i arrived late my aunt had already started with the alcohol process earlier on without me so for the purpose of the video we had to show you guys what she did before i arrived right so now in the next clips you're going to see the original alcohol that she had made that was set aside a long time ago it's really sharp and now we can move to stage two of making the alcohol which is putting it into the black pot pot and allowing it to boil and you know so yeah um i just wanted to give you guys a disclaimer so that you guys not, are not confused you guys saw us mixing in the purple bucket now you're seeing an orange slash red bucket what's going on so in the red bucket that you guys are going to see now is the alcohol that she made earlier and we're just continuing with the process from the mountain top down to the deep guys we moved it to a white bucket that we put aside for a couple of hours guys and then later on that's when we added king corn and okay um i don't know how to explain these things to you guys because i know them because i saw them and yeah we used those things and added them into the alcohol into the jalaba into jalaba salt so yeah let me show you guys that before we move on to the next process we'll find a way just come Darkest 
everybody else Lost and lonely, haven't heard too many times Gave up on hoping, thought I'd never get it right time every time I mean this is the second time when we get to the alcohol process and they're burning the contents into so too, I can never ever get over that like who was the first person who did that like I need that first person to, to come tell me what is the reasoning guys because guys <laughs> I'm always shook guys but Hansaria with the process get yourself out you won't taste you won't taste it when you're drinking it but the mere fact that the contents were burned into the the king the alcohol is just shocking to me if the alcohol that we drink on the regular is made like this and you and the phone guys and this up <laughs> i give up badly so yeah after that process they covered it with the blanket and put it aside so we can continue the next day ne? highly handler guys we were late ne? highly handler you're supposed to start the process like two days before fortunately for us it was already so hot so it didn't take long so after that um we just chilled because my aunt my aunt told us that the meat that was slaughtered nothing was going to be cooked that day ne? so we started the meal the the meat right everything Everything guys was put together Galeta de Kerese, my brat, me, my two brothers all lit our candles and prayed over them and we put everything in a specific place I'm gonna show you guys in the next clip. We put it in the in a specific place and My aunt says when we put it like that Our ancestors are gonna come During the night because we can only use everything there after midnight the next day when it's a, when it's the ceremony so she says ne? The ancestors are gonna come and they're gonna drink the alcohol, they're gonna eat the meat before we get to cook it and eat it the next day. Because I can So it looks like Ibona before Hona Rizija. So if they if our one of our ancestors loved alcohol, there's alcohol there. If one of our ancestors loved meat, there's meat there. If one of our ask of our ancestors loved Sniffy, when I listen, sniffy, like to come take you guys, like the ancestors when they arrived, they found their favorite stuff there and they could eat it and bless the ceremony before the next day where everybody can actually come and eat, you know. So we had to wait until midnight, guys. Nothing was done, no salad, no stump, nothing was done until midnight. That's when the real work began. That's when the cutting of the meat, the cooking of the meat, everything started at midnight, guys. And I want to give a huge shout out to my team, to my big brother, to my middle brother, to my brother's wife, to Kinelue, like guys, those people worked throughout the night in the morning. It, if I told you, like the story that I'm telling you, if I tell you that people they started this, they started cooking everything at after 12 at midnight and at 6 a.m. in the morning, everything was ready. You would think I'm lying, guys. You would think I am lying, guys. So a huge shout out to them because they did not sleep, trying to make sure that everything is a success, the success the next day. So yeah, in the next clip, you're going to see Dijota, my ancestors, Dijuzi I tried to not show the candles and everything, guys, because that's like a sacred sacred place, you know? So I showed you the little that I could show you. And then after that, that's when we started with the stamp, we started cooking everything and went into the next day. to the saturday part of this vlog slash video slash whatever i'm going to call it because yesterday i tried to start it as a vlog but 
we were so busy and everything was just you know guys you know so i couldn't really vlog properly but today i'm gonna try my admit space because it is very busy you know yeah so normally we'll start this um ceremony in early in the morning but because we have a funeral one to like the house literally next to my house we've decided that we're gonna wait until they go to the graveyard and that's when we will start our ceremony so right now we're just busy with the final preps guys we're supposed to do this last night but because we started everything late everything's a bit delayed but thankfully we still have that bit of time while the funeral is still happening so i'm going to take you guys with me to the kitchen maybe we'll and then we're still busy with the pots outside as well i'm wearing this beautiful dress that my mother in love gifted me with and this apron from carol boys that people K okay gifted me as well and yeah guys i feel like we're going to have a great day it's already a blessed day the weather is weathering things were not slanganering but now they are slanganering guys i just love that about things when things just come together that time the process of it was just so stressful but yeah guys we're gonna have a good day let's go outside I'm <laughs> <laughs>
everything is done the meat is ready the stump is ready the salad is ready my my family did say though that the salad was not necessary you could have just had stump with meat but because beyonce of the family <laughs> <laughs> because I like things, I had already bought things for a salad and my brick brother made the most amazing salad ever which I'm going to make on my channel soon. I'm going to ask him for the recipe so that you guys can also try it out for your families. But yeah, at this point everything is ready. The next step was to start the ceremony properly which is doing what we practice, the rituals that we practice in our family which is what you're going to see next. That's the next clip that you're going to see. We were just waiting for the funeral that was happening two houses away from my house to leave the house and go to the graveyard that is when our ceremony started and yeah i'm going to show you guys the clips with the ceremony starting and just show you guys the ceremony and that will be it for today's video and i'll see you guys at the end of the video enjoy and then That's a lot. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I believe you when everything is secret, secret. 
own news in your rearview mirror It must be nice that you went and got a penthouse All your friends, money in it's real loud Brand new money with a brand new chest Still a baby bird fries straight off the nest like you Social event. My family is here, your family is here, everyone is here. Even my friends are here. Oh, yeah. Stenu Ding, Mutate Wooding, Wooding, Mujalifa, and all of them to support you and us. Like they always do. Hang up, it's okay. Mango, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, but I keep talking. It's okay. Kim Koy Nam Di Be. And then what? And then what, nigga? Ah. Let's not expose me. It's okay. 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 Have I do? Uh, do you have you had one? Would you make one? I'm making one next week. Why? Because I'm going to make it. That's what that's the answer I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> My friend. Yeah. Yeah. My baby. What do you think about the Papa Jim? Yeah. What do I think? It's mm. a good thing. It's a 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 that's for you, but I wanted to buy them also something. My mom was like, no, that's not that's not your job to do. I'm like, but you can buy the like you are the So yeah, but I think it's a good thing and it's a, it's very beautiful to have everybody come together, support you and celebrate. So yeah. Thank you. The champagne is to celebrate also. You're nice. Hey. Okay. They must keep on giving. You believe our own? I'm more spiritual than Christianity. So he believes highly in the Bible. So um, my life is being run by my ancestors. So now I'm going to learn to do this. Yo, how do you make money? Money on how to live? How to live in Italy? But you move around. Oh. Hey. And the money to live in Italy, but the money to make fun of. For Arab, the question. To say the Copan Copan. Because we talk well about now we strong or pass out. We like to have people like to get us. How do you make it? More like an African spiritual. That's how we connect to the higher power. Thank you. Guys, we're nearing the end of this video. It wasn't supposed to be this long, but because Kispikara, guys, we are here now. Finally, we're here now. <laughs> Let me be serious for two seconds, guys. There are two things that hit home for me this weekend. One of them being the people who supported our family this Saturday or people from my street or people that I, I grew up with that I used to play with, you know, but because when you grow up, you guys all go different directions. People stay there. People stay there. You lose that sense of community that you had when you were growing up, you know, now the only community we have is our friends and, and their parents because we make an effort to meet each other for lunches. We celebrate each other's weddings and so on and so forth. But the people that we grew up with, we didn't have to do much. You could just stand in the street and play 
skipping play ticket or and that on its own built the community that we had back then which we don't have anymore now so just being with the people that i grew up with was just everything and more to me and number two when i have deep habadim i'm always thinking of people who were here but aren't here anymore and i'm also thinking about god and all of that i never think of people who are old and are still alive you know those people lived a different life to the life that we live today they've lived all these years and have seen everything change you know so when they hear about deep habadim i can see the pride they have in their faces how they're so eager to help you because this is something that they know so much and they're so happy to see someone who's young continue the things that they used to do back then you know so just the pride that i saw in my aunt and other old people who were there just made me so so happy i want you guys to go into the comment section and just let me know about your traditional practices and what is it in your culture that you look back and you're like oh my gosh this thing built me i am the person that i am today because of these practices because i am the sitati that you guys see here today because of the Dim, because of the bible because of god because of the teachings that my mom gave me you know so i'm so happy that i got to share this piece of me with you guys in this video and i hope you learned a thing or two and you enjoyed just watching me in this element and i'm going to end off this vlog just showing you guys what we got up to for the rest of the day we were just singing and dancing and we're just dancing to my favorite song let me play it for you guys <laughs> Thank you so much for watching you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>